Hoy en el mundo está lleno de muñequitos. Es una super mega colección de figuras de un super mega ñoño que las puso en un museo. Welcome to the Brussels Comics Museum. It's probably one of the biggest private collection of figurines from comics in Europe, and it's true. Our friend Frankin was famous for making famous Spiro, but was also famous for creating this guy. What can you tell us about this guy? Mira para arriba. Hace muchos años yo vine a este museo y se llamaba distinto, se llamaba M-O-O-F, era como Museo de las Figurines y ya le cambiaron el nombre a uno más atractivo que se llama Comics Museum, que es, es una super mega colección de figuras de un super mega ñoño que las puso en un museo. Vamos a ver figuras de todos los cómics posibles, mucho más obviamente franceses y franco-belgas, y aquí se da mucho eso, se da mucho que sacan estas figuritas hermosas para adornar y decorar. Vamos a ver estas hermosuras, estamos en Bélgica. Ya. Yeah. Bueno, estoy aquí con Garvey, eh, él es una de las personas que trabaja aquí en el Museo de Figuras Originales, The Moth Museum or the Comic Museum. That's my first question. Why did you change like the name? First was Moth and now is the Comic Museum. Exactly. First it was the Moth Museum. Moth Museum, why? Because it's the Museum of Original Figurines. But uh, this abbreviation didn't talk to all of the people, you know? Like we try to put a new name that everybody will understand. So it's why we first changed to the Move Comics Museum. After we changed it to the Comics Museum, but it was too close from the other museum of uh, the comics in Brussels. So we have to change again, and now it's the Comics Brussels Figurines Museum. And so now everybody can understand what is it exactly, what you can find inside, and what is the difference with the other one. That seems very professional. Let's talk about the collector because that's like, uh, I don't know, like a mystic figure, like, uh, like I don't know, some type of uh, god uh, kind of guy. Who is the collector in here in the museum? Once for a moment, a group was able to share the energy amongst themselves, but even they were quickly destroyed by it. The collector is I don't know how to explain because I know him since uh, once one year, and and for me it's like um, it's it's my boss for sure. But like it's uh, someone that he did a lot in his life, you know. He collects a lot of figurines, but not only he did a lot of things before. And like for this collection, like he took a lot of risks to, of risk to put it in this museum because normally the collectors like keep the figurines in the box to not have any damage. ¿Piensas en esos malditos juguetes? No son juguetes? malditos juguetes. Este es Iron Man, ¿sí? Lo tengo desde que estaba en no. segundo grado. ¿Sabes lo difícil que es para un niño no abrir esto? Because all of the figurines was his, his house. Like, he once his wife talks to him and, like, say, you know, you have too much figurines. Like, now, the thing is, you have two choice. You throw them or you open the museum. And for him, he, he was like, I will never throw them, throw them, like, he opened the museum directly and like, he took some time, because, because before this museum was not here, it was in the other place of Brussels, but here the location is perfect and like, he did everything that you can see inside. 
like the decoration he has some help but like to put everything in this museum he did it with his hands for me like um, it's not a god but it's someone that I can uh, learn a lot you know like um, every day it's a new day when he come here he talk with a lot of people like he's always uh, smiling he's really happy what with this museum and uh, he tried every time to improve this museum like he put the new parts for example the American stuff because now it's more international like uh, the the, the children like doesn't know a lot about Tintin, some stuff like that, it's more old, but he wants still to keep them in the museum because it's a biggest part of Brussels, we are famous for that too. And so yes, he, he tried to improve himself, to improve the museum every time and uh, he's normal because he's also normal, he's not like uh, the guy you know with the big head because yeah, it's my collection and everything, no, he's normal, you can speak with him like if he's here, you can speak with him, he can tell you a lot of story about uh, the different figurines because uh, some stories are crazy and like he, he really loves it, like he's passionate with it. He made a dream come true, like everybody and uh, everyone who collects like figures always says in his home, oh wow, this should be taken to a museum or maybe more people should see my collection. He did that. You you also collect as well? You like to collect figures yourself? Since I'm working here, I learn a lot. Like, I just learn a lot, but I don't want to collect because it's his thing, you know? But like, he he transmit, he transmit me uh, the, um, his passion, you know? Like, um, like every time when he's speaking about uh, a thing, he's really passionate on it. And like, for me, I learn a lot. I learn a lot, I will not collect but now I can say if this figurines it's a good one if it's a beautiful pieces sometimes I know the price and uh, like yeah I, I learn a lot so why don't you go with us on a tour and tell us all the secret stuff please yeah for sure let's do this I want you to say to the camera in Spanish the name of our blog El Mundo es Ñoño El Mundo el Ñoño is that? El mundo es ñoño. El mundo es ñoño. Perfect. Like, this museum, it's an attachment. Like, it's for... We try to put the people in a good mood before the visits. It's really important for us. Like, uh, you know, imagine, like, people pay to visit a place of someone. Like, it's crazy. So it's really important for us to say hello to everybody. Like, to say welcome to the Figurines uh, Comics Museum. Like, we are really happy to smile every time. And, like, we try to explain what they can find inside, you know? To put it like a trailer for a movie, you know? So, normally, like, when we are speaking with someone, me, for me, because everybody has a different speech for everybody. Like, for me, it's like a welcome to the Brussels Comics Museum. It's probably one of the biggest private collection of figurines from comics in Europe. And it's true. And like everything that you can see inside, there is just one collector and he wanted to create a really immersive museum. So it's very visual with all of the figurines that you will see, but you have also sono effect during the, all of the work. And it's about 45 minutes, but it depends of you. You can spend more, more time in the universe that you like and spend less time in the other universe. We have different universes like Spirou, Asterix and Obelix, the Smurf, Luke Luke, Tintin. We have also a cinema room and the Americans comics at the end like Superman, Batman and now Star Wars. And inside just the only walls here, it's really important. We, you have to take picture, like it's an obligation. We, we did all of the things that to make picture, but the only rules that you have to do is to take picture, but without the flash because it can, it can damage the different figurines that we have inside. Perfect. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, that that's one of the guys I don't um, don't know. Who is he? I will explain you. First, with the move museum, we had like uh, three different uh, characters. It's this one, this one in black, and the other one in yellow. Why they are in uh, red, black, and yellow for the Belgium yeah flag? But like, uh, so it's a kind of mascot of the museum. Now I know. Empezamos con Spiro. Spiro es este héroe super ultra mega famoso de los que comenzó también. O sea, Tintín comenzó por un lado, Spiro comenzó por el otro. Y el que hizo famoso Spiro es Frankin. Frankin made Spiro famous. But he was not the one that created him. It was this guy. 
Exactly, exactly. It was Rob Bell first year. And uh, from the 19 and 40, we had a, a lot of difference until uh, 20,000. And like you can see that, uh, how to say that the different draw are They, they improve himself for me like the styles the style the styles yeah the styles it's, it's really hard to say that it's um first it was like not exactly this it's more aesthetic i prefer this one but yeah the most famous it was franking for sure y aquí tenemos todos los personajes famosos de spiro spiro tiene un amigo que se llama fantasio que se está quedando calvo eh, que se hace unos peinados muy raros tenemos el conde de Champignac que es el señor viejito que tiene mucho dinero eh, y también los villanos de Spiro y también Spiro se volvió muy famoso por eh, sus diseños de sus carros y aquí abajo vemos la viñeta con el carro y el carro ya precioso ahí de la colección Our friend Frankin was famous for making famous Spiro, but was also famous for creating this guy. What can you tell us about this guy? This guy is one of my favorite characters, Marsupilami. Yeah, I love him and all of his family. I was used to see the, um, the different show on the TV. <laughs> And like, uh, I don't know, he was really so strong, like it's crazy and uh, everybody wanted to have him, but uh, no, he's still free and uh, I'm happy like that. I think maybe I'm wrong, but the, the Marsupilami animated show was one of the first shows made by Disney in Europe, I think. I have to check it out. It may be true, it may be true, but uh, yeah, it's uh, really a good success, but it's It's strange because um, not a lot of people know these characters. Like uh, sometimes I, I'm speaking about Marsupilami and they are like, uh, who is who is Marsupilami? What is that? But uh, I don't know if it's famous like everywhere or if it's all only like European or Belgium things. It's more a European, but the show was uh, shown on uh, on Latin America by Disney. Hey, it's okay. Yeah, nice, nice. Disney are really famous. Yeah. Verdad que es muy interesante lo que estamos haciendo en el mundo de ñoño Yendo a otras partes del universo A mostrarte todas las ñoñadas que existen Pues si te gustan las figuras, si te gustan los coleccionables Si te gustan las historias, si te gustan los datos ñoños Pues mira los demás capítulos que tenemos para ver aquí Además suscríbete o oh, pues dale like a nuestras cositas Estamos haciendo un grandioso esfuerzo por hacer esto Y somos muy felices y en el francés de Joy, hablé, 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 hablé.